definitely. Shall I start? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, on behalf of the Egyptian Cultural and Educational uh, Bureau in Spain, known as the uh, Instituto Egipcio de Estudios Islamicos de Madrid, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this academic and educational event. Let me please introduce myself. I'm Rasha Ismail, Cultural Cons Counselor of Egypt and Head of Student Mission in Spain. Uh, we are pleased to host this meeting with the Central Department of Missions in Egypt to run a series of webinars to, int to introduce key Spanish universities to Egyptian staff and faculty members who are aiming to continue their higher studies uh, abroad. As a former student and graduate of one of the best Spanish universities, I think that we need to know more about the Spanish education system as it's one of the most important system in the majority of the eminent ranking indices in the world nowadays. A greater effort must be exerted to facilitate mutual cooperation and bilateral approximation among our institutions. In this case, the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research of Egypt and each of the Spanish universities. Uh, our, first, our first meeting will be with the prestigious UAB, Universidad Autónoma de Barcelona, ranked uh, the 209th, uh, according to the QS World University ranking uh, 2022. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, they will uh, tell us uh, better than me about the ranking. Uh, as of today, it's our third uh, ever meeting with the UAB representative. We met before on April the 5th and on the 29th of July. During these meetings, there was a mutual interest to formulate a serious uh, collaboration frame. Please uh, let me uh, welcome uh, our esteemed uh, partners of UAB represented by uh, Professor Marius Martinez, uh, Vice Rector of International Relations. Hi, Marius. Uh, Dr. Emma Ponte, uh, Director of the PH School. Hi, Dr. Emma. Uh, Mrs. Montserrat Masoliver, Deputy Executive uh, of Academic Affairs. Hi, uh, Mrs. Montserrat. Uh, and Mr. Jorge Benitez, International Support Service. Uh, hi, Jorge. Uh, Mrs. Katia Skostakovic, uh, Director of the International Relations Office. Uh, hi, Katia. And Mrs. Montserrat Alegre, International Institutional Manager manager. But first of all, let me please welcome uh, uh, Mr. Hisham Mustafa, uh, General Director of Academic uh, Supervision Department. Uh, he will give us in five minutes a brief about the scholarship system uh, uh, in Egypt. Uh, the floor of yours uh, is yours, uh, Mr. Hisham. Go ahead, please. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Rasha, and uh, appreciate attending uh, such workshop with uh, one of the famous uh, universities in, in Spain. And um, if I may share the screen with you. Yeah, please. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, my presentation won't be too much. Uh, it's almost like in three slides. Uh, I have to say that the Central Department of Mission is the main centralized department that take care of scholarships as well as uh, sponsoring uh, whatever grants is uh, arriving to the uh, government of Egypt and distributed through the um, Egyptian universities as well as the uh, public um, research centers. So um, the, the scholarship that is, is sponsored by the Ministry of Higher Education uh, from its budget, it's usually um, distributed through the year uh, through two different announcements. So uh, once we finish the announcement and be authenticated from the executive committee of Central Department of Mission, uh, then we publish it. Um, um, I may share now with you the timeline of the announcement, the current announcement, and this is the first announcement for the year 2021-2022. And we are starting the uh, the um, uh, we started the announcement by August 17, 2021, and um, the deadline will be by 17 October. 
2021, uh, we checked the eligibility almost like an, an uh, second day. So we stay for almost like an 12 days for checking the eligibility of the participants themselves. And then the, we go with the technical as well as the uh, personal interviews to our participants. So this procedure sticks from uh, November and maximum the, the first two weeks of uh, December uh, 2021. Then by the last week of uh, December, usually we are announcing the, the first part of the uh, first announcement uh, of CDF. Uh, I'm, check, I'm just explaining uh, how we go or the, our workflow of the announcement to give our partner in, in the Spanish universities um, how we operate. And uh, usually the results uh, appears by the end of the year, uh, which means is the, the participant has to go to the um, hosting universities and apply for uh, having um, his PhD or his master's degree um, acceptance or the conditional acceptance uh, to submit it to uh, the announcement. Uh, later on, after finalizing the results, uh, the procedures with our Egyptian scholars, how it goes, next step. So uh, we are preparing uh, the dispatching of uh, these participants by preparing um, them and having them pre-travel orientation and uh, we finalizing uh, their acceptance through sending um, the acceptance to the Egyptian Culture and Education Bureau approved to have the final confirmation from the universities. ECEP, as Dr. Rasha, uh, is, uh, is usually um, contacting the hosting universities to get the final approval once they finalize it and send it to CDM, we start with the procedure. Such procedures takes almost like an, uh, two to three months. And uh, that's how the, the participant would be ready later on uh, for traffic. Uh, this was like an, a quick look on our procedures. So uh, everyone, if uh, you get one of the scholars, you know now, what he's going to do to join your university. Thank you very much. And uh, that's how we can contact the CDM uh, for your information. Dr. Rasha. Thank you. Um, the floor is yours, uh, Dr. Marius Martinez, a Vice Rector of International Relations, who will give us a welcome note. Please, Dr. Marius. Thank you very much, Dr. Rasha. Um, good afternoon, everybody, uh, dear students from Egypt. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank you, um, give a, th a special thank to Mr. Hesham Mustafa and the Ministry of Higher Education of Egypt to have chosen the UAB to make this uh, event, this session. And we are very proud to explain a little bit about our university to these uh, maybe future uh, UAB students from Egypt. Uh, I must say that, that there's many Egyptians who has already chosen our university in the recent past. So for the last three years, just to give you an example, more than 80 people has chosen UAB to do undergraduate studies or part of these studies. More than 80 people has chosen UAB to do further education. But what is more interesting is that more than 400 people have chosen UAB to do study abroad programs and to uh, more than 70 people, well, I would say 77 people has chosen our summer school to come to our university. So to sum up, there's more than 700 Egyptians who has already chosen our university in the last three years to spend some time studying and learning, and of course, enjoying it at the UAB. That's, uh, that's fantastic for us. And we hope that some of these people uh, attending this seminar, or maybe those who would uh, watch it uh, later on, would choose the UAB after our explanations. So there's not a lot to say about UAB. There's many of these students already know that uh, UAB is top uh, among the top three universities in Spain and top 200 universities in, in the world. 
And in some subjects, we are top 10 in the world, for example, vet sciences and, and some other areas, economics and some other areas. We are a campus university and we are very well ranked in the green metrics. So that means that our university is very concerned with environmental issues and sustainability. We are a comprehensive research intensive university. So that means that we cover almost all fields of knowledge. You can choose from humanities to social sciences, uh, health sciences, technology, engineering, sciences, biosciences, and social sciences as well. So we cover almost all fields of knowledge in all levels of knowledge. We have more than 80 uh, undergraduate studies, more than uh, 80 uh, doctoral studies, and many opportunities of doing uh, master degrees or postgraduate courses in our university, as well as a summer school, which I, I already mentioned. So uh, apart from that, we have to say that uh, we are very, very close to Barcelona. It's less than half an hour by train from Barcelona city center. So in, in some terms, so for, for those coming from big cities in, in Egypt, that means being almost in the city center. So there's no difference between being in the center and being at the autonomous university. And we are a very international university. We, hope, we host more than 10,000 international students every year in our campus. We are the second largest university in Catalonia, our region, and uh, we are among the, the largest universities in Spain. We have more than 35,000 students in our university, and we are very productive in research and in innovation. So I hope that you would like a lot what you will find in our university in the near future, and I hope you will finally choose our university. Just to finish, I would like to show you a very small video, a two minutes video, in which you will get a general taste of our university. So Monserrat, if you can play the video. Rash, I think you have the video, right? I send it you, or oh, you want me to play from? Yeah, please, yeah, please. Oh, okay, please. Okay, let me just give me one second. In the meantime, let me tell you some more facts about our university. So for example, our university is very concerned with social life and with cultural activities. So there's more than 80 uh, cultural groups in our university from all fields. And you will, always be, uh, you will always be able to participate in these groups, no matter if you are studying for a semester, for a whole year, or for a whole program. Our university hosts a theater hall, and a cinema hall inside the campus. And uh, there's many opportunities of participating in, in social life and in cultural life in the university. Given the fact that it's a comprehensive university, it's also possible to choose more than one area of knowledge, depending on the type of studies you will choose. But uh, given the fact that everything is the maximum 15 minutes on foot from one side to the campus to the other side, it's very easy to take profit on that and make the best of your stay doing more than one thing and being able to connect with more than one area of knowledge. So are yeah. you ready for that? Yes, I think so. Let's see the video. I don't know if I, uh, no, I can't share the screen because I'm not able to share the screen. You have to, you have to allow me, Russia. I try to, to share the screen and they say okay. that mm. uh, someone else have uh, uh, have the video. You try now, please. Okay, let me just try again. Okay, now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can, sorry about that, I can, I... Well, don't worry, Monserrat, we can always add this video with the documentation and we can send this video later on. And yeah, sorry about that. Because can I can tell them. Yeah, we, we can, we can, yeah, we, we can share a link in which uh, participants could uh, see the video. Don't worry. This has never happened uh, before, as you know, with technologies 
it has never happened before uh, such a thing. So, well, this is something that could happen in these uh, settings, in these digital settings. Don't worry about that. You will get a lot of information from the Autonomous University. Don't worry about that. So let me uh, introduce uh, Dr. Um, Montserrat Mazulive, who is a Deputy uh, Executive uh, Manager for Academic Affairs, who will tell you a little bit more about the Spanish educational system and some of the chances you will have in our university. So Montserrat, thank you for attending and the floor is yours. Yeah, uh, thank you, Marius. Yeah, I begin with that presentation. I don't know if I, I will have some problems because today is a, a special day, I think. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, yes, can you see it? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> You cannot see anything, I guess. No? No. Oh. Yeah, fingers crossed again. Now. Now. Yes. Yeah? Yes, perfect. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, I will I will talk about masters, but first of all, I will introduce uh, a bit the our education system in Spain, especially a higher education system. As you can see, uh, we have um, uh, different levels of education. The first higher education system uh, uh, study in Spain is the advanced technician studies. This technical superior, yes, this uh, advanced uh, uh, studies, uh, that, uh, that these studies are, for example, from arts and design, from sports, from vocational studies. And this is the first uh, higher or pre-university uh, education in Spain. Uh, then we, um, this follows with the university stud studies. Yeah? Uh, first of all, we have the bachelor degree. Yeah? is the sixth level of the European frame. Yeah? Uh, this level are the, the bachelors, and it can be from 180 credits from 240 credits. Most of our bachelor degrees are from 240 credits, uh, except uh, veterinary, the medicine, and architecture. When we finish these uh, bachelor studies, we can follow through the master's degrees. Master degree is the seven uh, level of uh, European frame. Uh, the masters can, can be from 60 to 120 credits. In Spain, most of the masters are uh, 60 credits. Uh, and there are some uh, vocational and very, very professional masters that can be from uh, 90 to 120 credits. And, uh, but uh, most of the thing are from 60 credits. And then we have the, the final study of uh, the higher education as the doctor, doctorate, the PhD. This is the eighth uh, level of the European framework. And this, I think, Dr. Inma Ponte will talk about. So we move uh, from this these studies, yeah, I, I think we, we will speak uh, especially from master from doctorate. And so I follow to the master's degree of the UAV. Yeah, uh, first of all, I would like to, to say that we have, in Spain, we have two different kind of uh, master studies or postgraduate studies. The master, official master's degree, and do a specific master's degree. Yeah? Uh, both studies are almost the same. Yeah? Uh, both of them has the recognition of the UAB, and they are built and designed uh, with the same patterns and the same structure. But they have three different categories and specification. Uh, official master degrees has recognition of the state, has a full evaluation process that guarantees their quality, 
and they are included uh, in the Spanish registry and uh, they permit or they allow to access to the PhD. In fact, uh, between official masters and UAB specific masters, uh, the main difference is the access to, a, to the PhD. But I think it's important that people know that we have these uh, differences because uh, they are not very common in another in other countries in Europe or in the world. Uh, so uh, joining this uh, masters, this official master in UAB specific masters, we have more than uh, 400 master degrees and graduate diplomas here in, uh, in UAB. And uh, you can follow in this link. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, this page and you can see here all the masters you know, UAB offer. Yeah. Here there are the master, official master degrees. You can see, uh, say, uh, a settler the vice-rector, we are a comprehensive university which we have almost all the disciplines, yeah, agro-food, law, etc. And uh, we are, you, uh, you can see here that we be a specific master's degree and the, the, the non-official master's, but with the same standards of quality. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you and we can see your presentation, but it's not in oh, presentation. Oh, I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I follow. Uh, uh, please, but... uh, if you may raise your voice a little bit, please. Thank you. Yeah, you can speak a little bit loudly. Uh, more so because it's, it's some people can hear you. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know what's happened now with my computer. Yeah, I I have the voice as loud as I can. Can you can you hear me better now? I think so. I think so. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you seeing my presentation or the, the No, page? it is not in presentation mode. We can see your slide, but it is not in presentation mode. But well, doesn't matter. I follow with that because okay. I don't know what happens. Yeah. So, uh, we have these uh, 400 master degrees and graduate diplomas, and you can. You, uh, you can see what 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 we can what we can choose. Yeah. So uh, to apply for a master degree uh, in the UAB, we have an a procedure. You we have a procedure of application, uh, and we have three things that you have to bear in mind. The first is the access. Who who can access to this master degrees? The second is the admission requirements. The third is the selection criteria. And the fourth, the complementary training. Yeah? Uh, beginning with the access to be admitted in a, in a master degree, uh, you, uh, you need to uh, hold an official bachelor degree from Spain, from, uh, from a European higher education area, uh, university, or for a university from all around the world. The only thing you have to bear in mind that uh, you have to hold the studies that gives access to postgraduate studies in your country. Yeah, I, I, this is the most important thing. Uh, you don't need uh, any recognition for a student because the academic recognition is enough to be admitted in, in a master degree. All masters have have also admission requirements. Uh, admission requirements are uh, different uh, requirements in each master that are necessary uh, depending on the program. For example, when uh, you're a 
master who, who asked for a CV, a personal interview, uh, uh, a letter of motivation, etc. It, it uh, the third uh, concept is the selection criteria. We have uh, the, applic uh, the application, uh, we have this uh, admission criteria, and then if uh, we have more, par more participants than than in places uh, to offer, then uh, there are a selection criteria. There are different items uh, in accordance uh, with the priority of the master. For example, academic transcript, affinity of previous studies, professional experience, letter of reference, etc. And also, uh, there are masters that ask for complementary training. Yeah, that's to say, depending on the student, uh, on, the, on the students uh, you have, uh, you hold, uh, the coordinator of the master can require some topics or some additional background. Uh, that if you don't have it, you can uh, teach, uh, you, you can follow here uh, with the, the master. Mm, the admission procedure to the master uh, is very, very easy and simple. Obviously, it's online. Uh, we have, uh, you, you can apply for the master degree. It is the pre-enrollment pre pre procedure. You have to fill the online uh, form and you have to attach all the information required. The, appli uh, the application form, uh, the application date for 20, uh, 2022 and 2023 began from 11th of January of 2022. Okay. Then uh, you apply for the master, you get the prime government in the chair, you get the admission, and then uh, when you get the resolution, you can uh, do the prepayment enrollment uh, to reserve uh, your, your place to the master. And then when you have done all these things, uh, you do the enrollment procedure. Yeah? And uh, there, are, there are steps to this enrollment procedure. The enrollment procedure is before the academic course began. Our course, uh, academic course began in September. Normally, academic enrollment procedure begins in July or September. And then you have to uh, do the registration, uh, send the documents, okay? uh, do an academic tutorial. It's very important uh, for the enrollment of the master before the enrollment is done uh, to speak with the coordinator okay? to give uh, to receive advice. Then you register, do the, the registration, do the payment, and uh, other questions. Uh, depending on the prices, uh, uh, prices of the masters, um, the official masters uh, are set every year by a Catalan degree. And uh, the prices for the UAP masters, yeah, these non official masters, are set out each year by our social council. And an average enrollment fee in UAB for, for non UAB students are between uh, 2,000 and 800 euros per year. Yeah. Um, I think that's enough, I think. Yeah, because I had another part of presentation, but uh, I, I think my computer is tricking me, yeah, <laughs> I prefer a stop, yeah, and then if I can, uh, I give you, I ask you for the, for the word. Okay, thank you very much, Montserrat. So now let me introduce you to uh, Imma Ponte, Dr. Imma Ponte, who is the head of the doctoral school, who will tell you a little bit more about uh, doctoral studies and possibilities around doctoral and postdoctoral studies. There, there was uh, some questions, there were some questions on that on, on the chat. So, Imma, welcome, and the floor is yours. Okay, I, I need permission for uh, share the screen. Is possible get the permission? 
Uh, Mr. Hisham, please, can you give her uh, permission to... Mr. Hisham? I appear, uh, appear oh, a research oh, host oh. is able to participate in the screening sharing. Yeah. And Montserrat, you have to stop sharing yeah, yeah. your screen. Yeah. No, okay. Thank you. Thanks. And then I try... Okay. Uh, Good afternoon. Ina, you can try it now, please. Okay. Good afternoon to uh, everyone. I am sharing my I, uh, now. I am sharing my presentation. You can see this. No, not yet. Okay. Um, I try again. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I can I try to do, but it's important. It should do. Now. now, now, now it's starting. To, yeah, now there we are. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and um, maybe I can try this. Okay. Um, in this in this brief presentation, I will try to show uh, you how to obtain the information you need uh, to decide to take a PhD degree in here in Barcelona in the UV uh, University. Uh, and then uh, you can see in the website of the doctoral uh, school. Sorry, uh, you, you, you go. <coughs> So the doctoral school web page, you can find all the information you need about uh, our PC programs. And I can see you, you show uh, we have six APG programs with nearly uh, 5,000 student enrolled, around seven to, to 800 uh, students defended uh, their PhD thesis every year. And all our, it's important, all our PhD programs are in English, okay? Uh, among uh, the five, uh, Thousand students, the 30, uh, well, more or less 30, uh, 38 percentage are foreign students. And during the last year, the last course, uh, 2020 and 21, uh, 15 of them were Egyptians. No? And this is an uh, example uh, for, for you. So, probably the most uh, interesting uh, part of this speech, the uh, web page, the website of the uh, is. <clears throat> Sorry, when you, you watch here is the menu about the PG programs here. No? Okay, and then go to the page and show you this. You can see the page, correct? And here there are all the programs, and also it's important for you these videos for about the welcome sessions from the uh, uh, international students and from the PG. You know? But then uh, I, I mm, I see the different uh, PG programs I can uh, offer you, okay? And same go also here. And then uh, if you click in the uh, in PG programs, it's open a list of all the PG programs that is offered by UAB. And they are classified, in, classified sorry, into scientific disciplines. Yeah? There are uh, about uh, arts and humanities, health science, science, social science and law and technology science, okay? And then if you click here in these uh, sections, you can see the, the, the list of this uh, PhD programs, no? For instance, in arts and humanity, you can find uh, topics about art history, musicology, classical archeology, span uh, English students, history of science, and uh, also philosophy, Spanish studies, et cetera, okay? Uh, you, you can uh, check all of these programs if you click here in this, uh, in this link, okay? In the next section, you can uh, find the health sci the, the PhD programs about health science. And here you can find uh, topics about human uh, health, uh, for instance, medicine, uh, methodology on medical research and public health, neuroscience, pharmacology, psychiatry, and also there are some uh, PhD programs about uh, topics from an animal uh, health, um, maybe animal production, animal medicine and health, uh, etc. Aquaculture, no? more or less. Okay. And the next session you have 
uh, the 25 PG programs uh, around the social science and law in these uh, topics. We have diversity uh, topics from this. I can see uh, maybe some PG about economy, you know, apply economy, or maybe economy analysis or economy management and organization. But also there are topics about geography and demography. This is uh, to PhD relate, relate, uh, is uh, about this, this this special topic. Also, it's, it's very important to see about education, education and education psychology, or maybe uh, about uh, law and human security and global law, and also uh, for communication and journalists, or for the social topics, uh, for instance, sociali sociology, on social and culture anthropology, and finally, also is important uh, the PC about tourism. Eh? This is also uh, 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 Exeter's uh, PhD. Okay, and the last uh, section you can find uh, twenty uh, PhD programs uh, about science. Okay, and you can see, uh, and also uh, three from techno technology science, and this uh, from science. You can see uh, from uh, chemistry or from I, or chemistry or uh, physics, mathematics, or also from bio, bioscience with uh, biochemistry, biodiversity, genetics, uh, microbiology, or maybe cellular biology. All, all of them here is, is, uh, you can find here. No? And uh, finally, only three uh, PG program about technology science, bioinformatics, computer science, and electronic and information engineering. Okay. And the idea uh, uh, is you, when you click in the PG program, and you can, uh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you, you can uh, click uh, in your file of interest and look for the specific program. Uh, for example, if you, like, if you like in science, click uh, here and then. You can search the different programs, and uh, the next step is click, click in the program, uh, uh, and then all the, all the main page of the program uh, appear with all of this information. Okay, and in this page you can find uh, a different menu. No? You can see PC programs. Okay, you can see all of this page. No, here there are the, the different uh, PC, and maybe when you click here, where Mr. Molecular Biology appear all of the information about this, this speech, uh, about this PG program, okay? And the, the next, uh, in, this speech, in this website of the PG program, uh, you can find uh, information directly in the different parts of the APAP, uh, APAP menu, but I recommend that you starting first, uh, first with the research and supervision. In this, app, in this part of the menu, you can find the lines of the research of this PC program. And uh, it's important you, you identify the items no? from, uh, 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 from the, the name of the, the supervisors and the items about this research. And here you can click and you can uh, uh, also find all the information. For instance, in the next slide, no? When you click on the research, you can find the names, the publication, the thesis, and the, uh, the project around of this person. No? And then if you want, uh, I can see, sorry. Here, I, here you can, you, I, I show you, no? this, this is the part of, I talk about you, no? this here. And maybe appear the uh, the supervisors, you not know, the name of the supervisors, but the important part is here, the shares, and here appear all the information about this uh, supervisor, you no, know, the project of them, you no, know, and also the publications, uh, sorry, okay, and the 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 projects also you can see, oh, sorry, no? publications and also you can see the, te the last thesis of this person. No? And in this way, you can uh, select the, uh, the, the more interest, no? you, you, you can select the, the interest, okay? And when you, when, uh, once you find which research you want to carry out, no? the next step is enrollment in the, uh, in the doctorate. And for these are two, step, two, two steps, two principal steps, get admissions of the PhD program and registration, okay? 
And for the, to get admission of the PhD program, you need to uh, apply to the academic committee for admissions using the online application. And for this, you have an uh, important keys. One of these, uh, you need a proposal of the tutor of the thesis supervisor. No? Uh, you can choose this uh, in, the, in the way I can explain uh, before. No? And also, you need to uh, satisfy the admission requirements. Uh, this requirement, sorry, this is uh, similar to explain uh, of the in, in the program, each pro, uh, in the mass, for the masters, each program have a special requirements and also there are general requirements. And you can check all of them. And if, uh, and, and, and you need uh, also uh, show the necessary documents, the, all of them, you can do a scan of the documents and uh, send to the, to, the, to the doctoral school. And also you need to uh, uh, check the admission calendar. No? And then I I want to I want show where you can and find this information. Job data. For instance, no. Here admissions you can see you can. Uh, find the admission requirements and there are uh, some videos to explain you all the pros of the application form all the uh, system uh, do the this application no but you, you can see the specific maybe for this program you need some uh, specific uh, specific uh, requirements the uh, english or something like this and also you have this the calendar for the admissions okay uh, here in this part of the web page there are all information okay and the same for register for here if you want to get the admission you can uh, do the, the registration the, and there's the same you have all uh, online and you need uh, to see the, the video and you can uh, also uh, you can find the fees and also you can the price and all information about this, eh? the fees uh, and methods of the payment. Eh? You can see uh, all the, the information from the international students that are this, uh, the price, and also from uh, the, 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 this price, uh, also uh, complete the activities, and the, also you can see the scholar grants, etc. Okay, all the information is here. And finally, uh, when when you uh, when, when once you get to the enrollment to, done, the rest of it easy. You can find information about activities, about uh, training activities, about uh, about annual annual PhD review, and finally uh, how to depose and defend your thesis. I think uh, in uh, everything is uh, everything is on our web. Uh, about information about the PT programs, the, uh, the mission and enrollment, uh, the transversal activities, uh, all the information about um, uh, the defense of the PhD, uh, academic uh, ceremonies uh, and scholar grants, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to contact us, you can send us an email uh, in the contact. And uh, I think it's more or less on. Thank you for uh, your attention. If you have any questions, you can. I can try to, to to respond this. Okay. Thank you very much, Imma. Uh, we apologize for the sound quality, which is not the best one. But uh, if you have some questions, you have the email, and you can always email us. And then uh, Monserrat Alegre and now uh, Monserrat Masolive and Imma Ponte will try to answer your questions on the questions and, and answers uh, chat. So let me introduce you to Jorge Benitez, who is the head of International Support Service which will give you some advice and some ideas about uh, visas and other, and other procedures. So, Jorge, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Marius. Can you hear me well? Yes. Ima, can you stop sharing the screen? Yeah, I try to do. Sorry, one moment. Yeah. Now, okay. yeah, thank you. Okay, thank Jorge. you. Go ahead. Uh, okay, so 
Uh, the International Support Service is an office of the International Relations Area, which is intended to provide information and support in any practical issue of your stay in Barcelona so that you can focus on your academic activity. We provide this support not only uh, at the beginning of your stay, but during the whole stay with us. Uh, that means that uh, regarding to immigration procedures, we can help you with your visa that will be your first student permit uh, valid up to one year, but also with the renewal of your permit uh, to be done in the immigration office in Barcelona by all of you that are going to be enrolled in studies that last for more than one year. Uh, for this support, uh, we work closely with the Spanish Foreign Affairs Ministry and the Immigration Office in Barcelona. For this reason, beyond providing information about the documents needed for each procedure, and helping with the submission of your application, we can also help you by contacting the immigration authorities if there is any drawback in your procedure. Moreover, we provide information and support not only to, uh, the, to the students' permits, but also in other immigration procedures that could interest you, such as a work permit for students if you are going to work during your studies or job seeking visas if you are interested in developing a professional career in Spain after finishing your studies with us. Uh, I'm going to share with you the uh, in the chat of the session, a link to our website and a link to our handbook uh, for international students. Uh, please take a look at them. You will find a lot of information of, of other practical issues, such as accommodation, medical insurances, and moreover. Uh, you will find also our telephone number and our email address. So please do not hesitate to contact us for any query you may have. And we hope to see you very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jorge. This uh, link that Jorge will, will uh, leave in, in the chat is very, very helpful because it's the handbook specially designed to solve any kind of problem or procedure you might have during your process of applying to our university. Here you have the, the link to the International Support Service website and also the link to the handbook for international students. That will be very helpful for sure. So now we have arrived to the end of this uh, first part of the session. There, there were many questions. Montserrat was trying to answer all these questions, more or less. Uh, there's a lot of information on the website. Uh, Imma has shown you the website from the doctoral school. You will be able to find many of your answers there. And if not, you have our emails, the emails from the doctoral school, from the International Support Service. And uh, you can always contact us through these emails and we will provide with specific answers there. So let the, let's open the floor to see if there's any more specific questions, which I believe they are. Um, Montserrat? No, well, there are some questions. I mean, there are a lot of questions, but I don't think we have time to answer all of them. Yeah. But there were questions related to, uh, to the acceptation to the PhD programs. I think, Ima, you explained it already, but I don't know if uh, there was like a general question eh, with different students about the acceptation about the, the PhD programs. Also, there were questions about postdoctorates. If we can explain them, if some, some students were interested in, 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 in postdoctorate studies. Okay, the, the, the requirements from the accepted in the PhD programs is in the web page, and, and there are two, two kinds of the requirements a general requirements and the specific requirements from the each program. Okay, and you can see in the web page, okay, it's important. And for the postdoctoral, it is not a requirement, it's, it's, uh, each department accept the, the, the people for postdoctoral studies. It's not a specific requirement, okay? Uh, it, it's, it's not a, a specific study. It's, it's, a, a, it's another uh, part of, it's another of the career, of the, uh, of the research career. No? You have a postdoctoral uh, position and you need to ask this in the departments. I don't know, maybe I think I, I answered the, the questions. If you want, I can show uh, where you can find the, the, the requirements, for example, okay, PhD program. You can see the, the, my, my screening, no, no? No. Maybe it takes a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, I, this is, I don't know because it's, it's, it's difficult. Okay, you can see now. That? It takes a while, so yeah, now now we can see it. Okay, and, and if you can see in, here in the mission, okay, in this part, you find all the requirements uh, for a specific, uh, here that has a step, uh, but you need here, uh, sorry, yeah? maybe in this case, yeah? you need uh, the, the consideration, sorry, I look for them. Uh, sorry, yeah? if you apply the program here. Yeah? Compulsory documents, you need the certificate, the degree, and the Spanish uh, okay, uh, PhD degrees, and also the motivation letter, the documents for acceptance of academic tutor. The whole of this is the requirement you need for to uh, uh, get the admission uh, to, uh, to, to the PhD program, okay? You can, you can check in this part of, of the, in, in this part of the web, of the web site page for each program, okay? okay? Also here you can, uh, I, I think it's not important now, but if you want, I can put this video and uh, I know I, maybe it's better you check uh, for uh, each student for, for, him, for himself, okay? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Imma, they are also asking a lot about grants and funding support in, in doctoral studies and postdoctoral studies. What can you tell them? Yeah, grants, uh, this is a, uh, is, um, for in the international grants, it's, it's difficult to find because normally is the, the, the grant is, uh, uh, is in, the, in the country, uh, in, in, okay, uh, it's not a specific uh, from the Spain grants, no? Spain grants is from uh, uh, students from Spain and uh, you can get the grant for our country. You understand me? It's difficult to find, but there are information also in the web page of from a school, you can show also here. No, uh, sorry, one moment. Uh, there are specific part of the website. No, here. Okay, the scholar screen. grants uh, and mobility employment. Here you can find information about this. Okay. The screen is black in my case. I don't know if you are seeing the screen, but uh, it, the, we cannot see anything, Nima. Yeah, no? black. The screen is in black, so we, you are not showing the, the page. Okay, sorry. Maybe. Now you are okay. in the in the biochemistry okay. page. You have to, yeah, you have to move from here, exactly. Okay. okay. Uh, one moment. Yeah. Because maybe I can admit. Maybe if you go to the top of the page. But it's not, it's not, I come back, it's not possible to come back. I, I think I stop share, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, you can see now? Yes. Okay. On PG programs here, and also you can see in scholar grants and mobility employment. You can see now. Yeah. And yes. This part you have uh, information about uh, our, about uh, the, the the grants. Okay. Okay. So I think we can tell our colleagues from Egypt uh, that they should uh, check beforehand all this information in the web page because it's very well specified and it's specified according to your particular interests on the specific field no matter if it's arts and humanities or health sciences or whatever and inside each page you will find specific information about grants about accessibility about access about procedures and everything you have also here information about grants you can yeah. see okay so all this information is in the web page. You, you can yeah. see the research grants, the study, uh, but you, can, you can find uh, the, the, the Spanish grants, but yeah, it's important to check also the grants from your countries, okay? Yeah. Good. So, uh,
So if you if you check this web page, there will be more a lot of answers to your questions there specifically. And if not, please do not hesitate contacting us to the doctoral school. You have the web page. There's the addresses there, and also the international support service. Should you if you need uh, any kind of advice or support for your visa or whatever you might need beforehand. So. Uh, Dr. Rasha Ismail, I think from our side, that will be it. Thank you very much. Uh, for me, it's uh, more than clear what you, uh, what you show. Um, Mr. Hisham, if there's uh, any question or... Uh, uh, well, I do appreciate uh, the presentation. Uh, the presentation was really... Uh, complete and I figured that it will help a lot of our scholars to apply to the different programs. Uh, besides the fact is that uh, I just noticed that uh, some of them are requesting the online uh, programs, uh, which is like a hands-on uh, to the scholars. Uh, however, thank you very much. We do appreciate your attendance. Uh, thank you for such a great information. Can you share your screen, please, Mr. Hisham? We can't see you. Oh, I'm sorry, um, I turned off the camera. Okay, please. You can see me now, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we do appreciate uh, their attendance and uh, actually um, um, as a dispatch manager, I, I do appreciate if you can uh, just hold on for uh, finalizing um, the acceptance for our participant. As you know, this is very crucial for uh, the dispatching system in the Ministry of Higher Education. So the first step to accept the, uh, the participant in, uh, in our scholarship is to evaluate um, the participants through the hosting university. The hosting university is usually a lot of professors that are um, evaluating his uh, proposal and uh, our reviewers are uh, depending on your reviewer as well. So in, in your kind acceptance, if you just uh, mentioned the importance um, of the proposal is it presented from uh, the researcher, that would be a great asset for uh, our viewer. Thank you very much again. And I do appreciate uh, such a great information we received from Minister, from you yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for the Ministry of Higher Education and the delegation of the, Spanish, uh, the Egyptian Embassy in Madrid. It has been a pleasure sharing this time with you, and we will, we will be more happy to uh, help you and support you in your applications. And uh, good luck, and see you in Barcelona. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.